Hey guys, Dale here. Welcome back to RimWorld. Uh, colonists are getting together for Ragdor and Seba's wedding. Uh, Furman's in the hospital. He just had a mental break and beat up uh, Petrus. Uh, she's like our last prisoner that's left. Um, I think I had mentioned like last episode or the episode before, I was like, oh, I didn't intend for our colony to get so big so fast. But after our last werewolf attack with like two packs of 20 one we're like flush with meat which is great and werewolf hides um but uh we definitely need people and we definitely need uh stronger doors and walls so we're gonna start working on that this episode um we did get proper research benches done okay so Furman's fine they're doing their wedding here which is great uh, don't have a chapel set up. I'm not sure if I designed a chapel. I usually include a chapel, so we'll have to look at the plans and see maybe where we can put one. Oh, vomit. Vomit right where they're getting married. Cool. Um, other things that I wanted to do today. So we hadn't tried any of the elixir of Wolfsbane. Um, we're going to have Abert take one. Um, and we'll see what this does. We kind of know what it does. Okay, so Wolfsbane protection, 30%. Prevents the ingester from becoming infected, though every time an infection is prevented, the active elixir will weaken by 5%. So this is saying that he could take six hits that would result in infection, and I think it's something like 25% of werewolf hits would um, result in infection. So, like, 24 potential melee hits? That's... That's a lot of hits, but it's not that many when you're, like, standing at the door getting beat on. Let's, like, if we drink another one, does this go from 30 to 60? 60%. Okay. So we're going to have our melee folks drink these. Basically, like, three each. And... Ooh, raid, how sanguine. Ooh, these are vampires, right? Or many of them will be vampires? Uh, maybe not. Uh, raiders remaining. There's another group over here. Okay. Well, well then. Uh, are they attacking immediately? History, they're, they'll prepare for a while. So let's have everyone just kind of like stick close to home. Um, Ragdor, you're working on drinking your potion. The other thing is our wolves, they are, they are not really doing great for us. They, like, they can haul, uh, and we can ride them around the map, but they don't count as, like, rideable during caravans. They can't carry anything during caravans, and they, like, if we hadn't just, like, slaughtered a bunch of wolves, uh, werewolves, we would be starving right now. So at the earliest opportunity, we're going to, like, swap those out for, like, a more useful mount. Um, preferably, preferably one that doesn't, like, uh, eat meat, but can eat the hay. Um, oh, and let, sorry for, like, zooming around so much. Uh, let's get this door open. That way they have somewhere to come to. And quest available. It's a building quest. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna start swapping walls out, at least outer walls out with stone. We need to swap doors out with stone. We're gonna get rid of the wolves. Okay, everyone here and then defensive positions. And I think who is it? Keller. Um, spells. We're working on making him a paladin. It's gonna be a little while before we have prosthetics. And Raisin is like literally a Raisin. He has zero manipulation. Um, so we want to get to like that regrow, regrow arms and stuff. Okay, you need a spot. You can go there. You, Furman, don't have a, you do have a weapon. Um, Gray, why don't you have a weapon? Uh, Gray, let's have you pop in here and see about getting a weapon, and we'll get Furman into your spot. Okay, 
what range weapons do we have? We have some crappy guns. Actually, that one's good, but it's like deteriorated. Let's have you grab that and then come back around this way. Oh, and we have a totem of the hunt speed. Interesting. Someone drop that? Or no, we like we got a couple totems last time. We've only used gotten three total, but we've only used two. Speed is nice. Uh, we might have Abert just go ahead and like take that. Okay, what killed you? Brain destroyed. Wow. Oh, you're down. Are you good? Underground or dirty in the sand? Is not great. Groundskeeper. Um, not missing anything. I think we'll capture them. Because, like I was just saying, we do need people. Especially if we're going to have people like Raisin. Um, missing so many limbs that he's not ever going to be useful. Keller... Go ahead and strip and then capture this guy. This guy. Psycho... Oh, okay. Psychopath, misandrous, enduring. Probably, like, some problems there with um, social fights and whatnot with the ladies, but it'll be fine. Uh, go ahead and strip. Tend without medicine and then capture. Oh, and Steve goes down right at the last minute. Optimus, green thumb, tough, nimble. Uh, yeah, you're definitely, you're coming home with us. Um, furniture. We just deleted these. I don't know why. Um, Keller, Seva. Wait, how, how long do you have? Six hours? Uh, go ahead and strip and then capture. Allie... What are you doing? You're tending and then capturing, right? Cool. Okay, uh, there we are. So I'm gonna start putting some plants up for stone structures and whatnot. We can go ahead and unrestrict these folks again. And then I think what we might do is we might see if there are any tree, any like interesting quests out in the world, like this guy and maybe this guy or these guys. Um, and we might go and try and get some of those done. Okay, we have some rare thrombos on the map. Um, there they are. Let's just like wander this way. And where's the drafted hunt? Oh my god, so many buttons. Um, search and destroy. Drafted hunt. Okay, that might be too close. Two more. slowly wandering back. I wonder if it'll be in range of anyone. Doesn't look like it. There we go. Uh, mostly I'm excited about the fur. Because um, I think we'll be wearing a lot of like leather armor, either as like our primary armor or under our gear. So um, saving the thrombo for for that will be great. Okay, we're back. So we haven't started any of our caravanning or questing because it is kind of the middle of winter. Uh, we do have another raid showing up. Are these guys Neanderthals? They are. Uh, we did finish researching complex furniture though, so we we have so many base updates. Um, Abert, our leader, we're just kind of like uh, pimping his room out. Uh, we have 
uh, switch these to chairs. We started building some like storage. So like this is starting to get under control. It's still just like a hot mess though. And then we're obviously just putting in like niceties into everyone's bedrooms. We're giving them tables so that they can just like eat breakfast there if they're like hungry. Um, and we're putting these hearts uh, around because um, that's kind of it feels well it feels very vikingy um it's it, it's from the viking mod and it's definitely like a typical part of what their longhouse should be where these readers go let's speed up they're attacking immediately um we did get doors switched out to sandstone we've gotten some of our fortifications switched over as well but we've just been kind of running around getting this stuff done um is everyone here Ray, you don't have a spot. Why don't you take this as your spot? Uh, Furman, you keep dropping your weapon? Okay, wait, and how many were there? 14. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, after getting, like, tons and tons of wolves, um, just, like, a little afraid. But these guys, they are a bit tanky. We might need to wolf out for them. We'll see how many we can just, like, take down at range. And speaking of wolves, our next blood moon, 33 days. So I extended it a little bit. Um, now it's, like, a range between 30 and 45 days instead of every 30 days. Okay. Gotten a few down. Abert, why don't you just, like, wolf out and why don't you go ahead and search and destroy? Ragdor, you're not going to be doing much there either, so we'll have you wolf out and search and destroy. Keller, you need to back up. You're taking on such a huge beating. Oh yeah, we did make Keller a paladin. He cannot heal himself. Interesting. We'll just like, let you go lay down. Um, are they all taking off? They are, but some of them are trying to take off through our doors. Uh, let's just, like, flank these guys. We'll take a look at who is down. It looks like Nove, you're the only one who managed to survive. Optimus Kenai Night Owl. Talented Miner. Great at Artistic. Um, yes, we might pick you up then. Um... Gosh, who can do that? Golak, why don't you strip him and let's make sure we have a spot for him. We do. Okay. And then capture. Okay. You guys, did this door go down? Oh, almost. Okay, they decided to walk off the other way. Okay, and that is, that is it. Okay, orders, unforbid the things. Um, other progress because of the furniture unlock. So we're finally making art. So the totem of the hunt that they've been demanding. Um, ooh, no died. Blood loss. That sucks. Um, news of war. Uh, other things. Other things. Storage, art, bookshelves. Oh, yeah. So from, like, a menu perspective... Uh, we have all this rustic furniture that's available to us now. Oh, yeah, and we were putting in, yeah, tables. Okay, cool. Um, and then regular furniture, we have all this furniture. So we are um, building chairs, basically, <laughs> is what we're building. Uh, braziers and a throne. So this spiky throne, um, you know, Abert and Ragdor or our wolves can't really like get any like psychic benefit, but we can uh, just assign it to him. Uh, just that, um, just another reminder that he's our leader and this is our just kind of like grand hall. So, okay, we have a full moon approaching. So we're going to see if we can get Ragdor and Michaela to transform and either level up or learn a new form. And we did it. Okay, so... Uh, that's a new form for Michaela. Uh, I don't know if that's a new form for Ragdor. I think it might be. I think he has the Fenris form. Okay, so she broke through her door. He broke through his door. Uh, I 
don't think they're gonna make it through the walls, so they probably won't kill each other. But we'll see. go they are free okay cool two forms two forms nice and we're having a blood moon right now but it's one of the vampire blood moons not a werewolf blood moon okay we have a raid coming in and one of them turned out to be a werewolf uh one that we would be able to recruit like genetically a werewolf but apparently that's not gonna happen Fleeing? Not all of them. There must have been two groups. Okay. And got a couple, a few survivors. Okay, they are good to go. Schedule, we'll go ahead and unrestrict you guys. And let's take a look at these folks. You're a dirt mole. Mining would be nice. Uh, Health-wise, okay, not bad. Let's um, strip and capture. Unwavering. So maybe, maybe a new servant. Um, bio, animal friend, keen eye, fisherman, builder. Left lung destroyed. We have one of those. So this is Luki. Um, go ahead and strip Luki and then capture Luki. And you're missing an arm. Oh, that sucks. What are you? A husser. Um, yeah, we don't have go juice for you. So uh, we do have the ability in the mod pack to make like medieval go juice. Uh, but it takes a lot of intellectual and crafting, I think. Uh, enduring. Oh, so you're the you're the husser. And you are violent, keen eye, socialite, pretty. Okay. Right eye and a nose. Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, what else is going on? Doubling up our kitchen cooking area. Also made these wooden cooking tools to, to like help with that. Uh, getting a stockpile of regular food going since this area is refrigerated. And... Yeah. Okay, so Sylph just became an adult. Uh, creepy breathing, very neurotic. Herb lore. Oh, your social is terrible. Um, I guess mining and then... What else? Uh, architect, stealthy, fisherman. Stone. Stealthy, I guess, is good. It's move speed and dodge chance, so... We'll do that. Ooh. Ooh, Sylphie, you, you blew up. Um, what else is going on? I think, I think that's it for now. Um, yeah, just it's been lots of construction, slow winter. We are just getting out of our winter season into spring. So I think once the snow clears, we will go do some questing. And we'll pick that up tomorrow. Uh, kind of a strange episode, just like a couple raids and then lots of building in the base, lots of like decorating, really, not just building. Uh, hope you guys are enjoying the vibe. Uh, I am. I'm like, I've been wanting to do like a Viking playthrough for a while. So like the way the town is kind of shaping up um, is totally exciting for me. Uh, anyhow, uh, hope you guys have a good one. Until next time. Bye.